last eight months, uh, the Pashtuns are protesting against the strict visa regulations of the government of Pakistan, which is in violation of the international law. Instead of listening to the grievances of the Pashtun people, especially the PGM, Pakistani government and its military is attacking the protesters, attacking the citizen. They have systematically several times uh, attacked this citizen. Recently, they again attacked this citizen. They killed and, uh, uh, a 15 years old young boy, more than 200 leaders, have been possibly disappeared by the Pakistani military forces. More than 100 were injured and several were, were killed by the Pakistani forces. We request the international community, especially the United Nations, to protect our basic fundamental rights. Uh, as you know, for the last eight months, uh, the Pashtuns are protesting against the strict visa regulations of the government of Pakistan, which is in violation of the international law because the people living in the vicinity, in the border areas, and especially the Durin line is controversial uh, between Afghanistan and Pakistan. So the people living there, they have families on both sides of the Durin line. They have their businesses, they have social and economic connections with each other. Restricting such people, it's, I think it's going to affect the Pashtun people very badly economically, socially and financially. So for that, for the last month, the Pashtuns are protesting and have organized a sit-in in Chaman. But instead of listening to the grievances of the Pashtun people, especially the PTM, the Pakistani government and its military is attacking the protesters, attacking the citizen. They have systematically several times uh, attacked this citizen. And recently, they again attacked this citizen. They killed an, uh, uh, a 15 years old young boy in that city. And several uh, Pashtuns uh, leaders, maybe uh, I think there's more than 200 leaders, have been forcibly disappeared by the Pakistani military forces. More than 100 were injured and several were, were killed by the Pakistani forces. So it's really in violation of the international law. It's against our basic fundamental rights, our right to peaceful assembly, our right to freedom of expression. So we request international community, especially the United Nations, to protect our basic fundamental rights against the Pakistani military, which is involved in gross human rights violations of not only the Pashtun ethnic minority, but the Baloch people, Sindhi and Kashmiris also.